Welcome back to some more White Hat with Carly Linux. A lot of comments from my last video, people asking why I played around with wireless and why I managed to get the images out of the wireless, but I chose an open wireless adapter. Why did I try and crack one of the WPA2 ones? Well, in my line of thought, I thought, let's not crack something and not get ourselves into trouble. But it was pointed out to me the if you're doing penetration testing and you're a white hat, then you are going to be trying to crack WPA2 because you're going to be trying to find those weak passwords. So I thought, OK, let's give this a go. Let's crack some WPA2 and see what we can do. So if you want to see how that's done, stay tuned. So here we are again in Kali Linux. I'm going to do an IW config just to show you that there's no monitored extension here on the wireless adapter. From here, I'm now obviously going to go and set that up. So I'm currently using WLAN 0 and I'm currently connected to a free wireless in the area. It doesn't happen to be mine, but it is free, so I've connected to it. From here, we're going to start the virtual monitoring and we're going to turn the card into promiscuous mode so that we can actually listen to all the traffic going around. So I'm just going to do a sudo so I can run this command. And now I'm going to check to see that I've created the correct monitoring wireless LAN adapter. So at the moment it says that I do have monitoring. Um, which is, it's called uh, WLAN 0 mon. Um, so let's just do another IW config. And there it is there, WLAN 0 mon. So I do indeed have monitoring turned on. And I am in promiscuous mode. And I am actually going to be listening to everything flowing around, around me, including web, WPA2, and open connections. Let's uh, go and actually turn on the dumping and see what's going on. So, wow, there's lots in my area. Um, you can see lots of beacons there, a bit of data flowing. We can see all the various channels in use um, and we can see the SSIDs and the MAC addresses and the names of the various ad hoc and wireless connections. So what I'm looking to do today is to grab one of these WPA2 ones. Um, there's quite a few to choose from here. So I'm just going to watch and see what kind of activity there is. Looking for something that's got a little bit of activity to it. Bearing in mind, I'm actually currently connected to the Unity Air Free. Well, actually, I'm not because I'm in monitor mode, so that has now turned that off. Right, this uh, MRC underscore new, that seems to have some data going through it, and that's got WPA2. So, whoops, let's just flick now to the different adapter. This is a dynamic list, so it is changing, obviously, as strengths change and as data flow changes. However, I know my target. I'm going to try MRC underscore new. I'm now going to use aerodump ng. I'm going to choose the channel 2. I'm going to stick in the MAC address of that uh, access point, And I'm going to output the file to a file called output. So if you have a look at the command, I've got channel 2 there. If you have a look at the BSSID, it matches the number up in the list. And of course, I'm outputting that to a file called output. So it's quite straightforward. Right, so let's press enter and see what comes up, shall we? Now, the first thing that I'm interested in is not so much that top section, but that bottom section where I've got the two MAC address looking numbers. Those two numbers represent the access point and a device hanging off that access point. And what I'm after today is I'm after some handshakes between those two devices. So I'm going to try and capture enough data to try and get a few handshakes so I can try and crack it. Here we go. We've got something else has joined that access point. And the third thing, that's an actually very busy access point there. So I've got three things going there. Now, what do we do if nothing's joined in a while or if the keys are a little stale? Let's open another window while that's open. What we're going to do is we're actually going to force one of those connections using its MAC address to re-authenticate, which of course will recreate the handshake. Now I'm going to do this as root or sudo, and I'm now going to force one of those MAC addresses that you can see there to restart the connection back with the access point. And as you can see, 
I've pushed out that deauth, and now above, it's trying to reauthenticate. So I've definitely now got in my packet sniff a whole heap of handshakes. Those handshakes will be encrypted, and that's what I'm now going to try and decrypt. So let's go and have a bit of a play. Uh, first of all, before we go too far, here's the command. So two is the number of attempts of uh, trying to authorize. And then we've got the access point address. And then, of course, we've got the one for the... Um, device that's trying to connect that I'm going to upset and force to try and reconnect. So now that we've done that, uh, we don't really need to get any more packets. In fact, looking at this, we've got quite a few frames there. So we've definitely got enough to try and see if we can crack it. So at the moment, that's all stored in these files. So we've got that in standard Wireshark format or WinPCAP format, um, which has got all the handshake information as well as all the encrypted data. So here we go. We are now going to run a dictionary attack um, against that. So you can see the master key there and you can see it trying various words. So we're trying to guess that WPA2 uh, word or whatever the, the key is against a known library. Now I've actually sped this up because it did actually crack in the end, but I'm not going to bore you with two hours and 43 minutes of sitting here watching this. So here we go, key found. So we now know what the WPA2 key is. Now, where's that going to come in handy? Well, I'm going to use that key I'm going to join that access point. Once I've joined it, I then should be able to packet sniff and I should be able to do what I did in the previous video. I should be able to see URLs. I should be able to see um, images and things like that. And obviously any HTTPS requests, I won't be able to see those because they're encrypted with a certificate, but everything else we should be able to do. So here I am joining MRC new. I'm going to give that password a go, typing in the password and connect. And now we're just going to wait for it to connect. And up the top there, it looks like it's struggling. Do we have the right password? I'm watching. Yep, there we go. Connected. Got the little bars up. It's not very strong, but we got two bars up. That's good enough. Right, so we are now on this other network and we're going to start Wireshark up and we're going to obviously pack a sniff this network just like we would as if it was an open connection because to me this now is an open connection because I am now a part of this access points group. So open up Wireshark, nothing fancy, just going to capture, start and like I said before, anything HTTPS, I'm not going to be able to view that. But here we go, and there we go, there's the packets. So we've just cracked WPA2. Um, there are other ways to crack WPA2. In this case, this one just happened to be the simplest, and it actually worked. And as always, please consider subscribing if you enjoy this content, if it helps you in any way. And obviously, obviously only use this for white hat purposes. Um, ring the bell, subscribe, leave me a comment, let me know what else you'd like to see. Thank you very much.